Hey there guys, we're going to be going back to the Spectral Treasure Warden for a little bit more of a budget run. Uh, so this boss is um, weak to wind mostly, but we're going to be using a holy team because holy does work. Uh, it's a human reaper, it uses AoE uh, instant death that can be miraged. Um, so five turns or less, party of four or less, here's the party we're going to use. We're going to use Squall and Titus to deal our damage. We're going to use Ling for just overall support. She does pretty much everything we need here. And then we're going to use Nappy um, as support as well. Because Nappy can do a great sword in peril. He's also going to be our tank. So, let's get in here and get it done. Alright, so to start off, Nappy is going to start in the base form for some auto buffing. Go to the shift form. Uh, and then we're going to do Cutesy Clobber to great sword in peril the boss. We're going to start Ling in the base. We're going to go to the shift. We're using the Obsidian Bracer to break the boss, by the way. Uh, we're going to do a Holy Imperil. Uh, we're going to, let's see, Moving Dance to stat buff. And then we're going to do Dragon Dancer to fill her LB gauge. While Titus is just going to support Chain with Squall. We're going to do Faded Circle with Squall. Okay, wait for this to finish. Go ahead and chain it up. So we have five turns to kill. It's not going to be the quickest. We are using very cheap gear, so it'll be a little bit slowish. Also, we only did an 80 break so far. We'll be doing a better break in a moment. Um, there's a break on the party. It breaks all our stats, but Ling is going to, on this turn, Rally and Dance to cure the break. We're going to do Human and Reaper Killer. We're going to use Noppy to uh, bar Thundega from an Esper. That's a Thunder Resist buff. And then we're going to just support chain these guys again. little bit more damage. We'll do more in a moment, so don't, don't, don't worry too much about it yet. There's a thunder attack. Okay, so the boss, I think, is going to do AoE death next turn. So we're going to use Ling to go to the base form. We're going to mirage the death. We're going to disarming to do a better break on the boss. And then we're going to do um, combination steps so we can support chain. Uh, these guys are a little bit busy at the moment. Uh, oh, that's not what I meant. Never mind. Ignore that. Um, anyway, we'll just use uh, Noppy to support chain. Now, Noppy is not geared for damage at all, so the damage from Noppy is going to be basically terrible. This is just one of those, like, why not scenarios. Okay. There's the death, but we can mirage it, so no big deal at all. Alright, let's see. How's that great sword in peril looking? Oh, yeah, it's up for the rest of the fight. We're good. Um, let's go ahead and have Ling. we got to do the imbue again. So we're going to go to the shift form, we're going to re-imbue the party, and we'll refresh human and reaper killer. Let's see, Noppy's basically done, so we can do this, and we'll do an LB on the final turn. That way, if your, your, your units are only like EX2 uh, or something, or EX1, you'll still be good here. So there we go. And let's do an LB. So we're going to do LB Squall, LB him. We'll support chain Stardust Ray with her. And we'll support chain Stardust Ray with Noppy. Although Noppy can actually do his regular Stardust Ray. Look at that. Um, Stardust Ray. Okay. So I don't specifically know the time. I know Squall is really slow. I mean, Titus is really slow. So we're going to like send Titus and then send these other guys. And hopefully I cap this right. It looks right. Oh, yeah. We, we good. We good. And there it is. There is an all mission clear. Four units, five turns or less. And I forgot the last mission. I think it was no deaths. But um, whatever. So there we go. There we go. I'll show you the gear and I'll explain in detail the way to build this party in just a second. So breakdown is... There we go. Not bad. Not bad. Um, I think Squall did use... I mean Titus did use a little bit better gear. But uh, also Titus's chaining is way better than the, uh, the, the chaining of Squall. Both their LBs are pretty similar. Anyway, let me show you the gear. And we'll go over the exact details of the fight. Okay, so. Loading a little bit slow. Okay, so um, everyone wants 100 Thunder Resist after a buff. We're using an 80% buff from Carbuncle and 20% from Gear. Um, you want to Mirage the Death and use a Passive Provoker... Evasion helps, probably not required, but um, it's helpful. Also, I recommend the Obsidian Bracer if you're not breaking on turn one. So here's the party we used. Ling 
is just using um, I gave her death immunity you can mirage the death so um, that was like just an absolute layer of safety you don't need that because as you saw Squall and Titus did not die they just miraged it uh, some LB fill and some thunder resist other than that you know whatever some self healing so she can not kill herself uh, but we didn't really do that I, I gave her 100 thunder resist we only needed 20 because of the buff but you know support unit or like the gear doesn't really matter uh, not being in the base form, started in the base form, and we did a bracer and Miracle Shoes. Uh, miracle Shoes is not important. We never actually took damage. It just gives auto shell, auto protect. Uh, shift form is passive provoke, evasion, and I gave death immunity, but once... Oh, actually, I didn't give death immunity. Yeah, I didn't give death immunity. As you can see, death immunity, not important. We miraged it at all times. Uh, so passive provoke, evasion, not using a car. So we're getting 20 provoke from run to shield. Um... 50 Provoke from Moogle Charm, and I think actually Skull Plate is only 15% Provoke. Oh, 20. So actually we were only at 90% Provoke. Oh, no, 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 never mind. Never mind. We got 20 here. So yeah, we're at 110. So we're good. We're good. Uh, passive Provoke. If you've got things like the, the Dancer's Diadem and all that, that, that'd be fine too. But I wanted to go a little bit cheaper. And anyway, um, I gave him some Thunder Resist, so we have enough with a buff. Then Titus, using a great sword because we did a great sword in peril with Noppy. Other than that, totally free gear. This is all free. Um, free great sword from the story, some quest rewards, clash gear, uh, a bunch of free killers from, um, from events or trials, and then just a janky card. No premium gear, no like STMRs, no TMRs even. Yeah, really cheap. Uh, and then he had... Uh, 225 Reaper and 250 Human. And then Squall, pretty much the same thing. His own Chronicle weapon. Um, a lot of event gear. Here you go. And then a lot of free killers. Uh, Promise from Squall is a TMR, but, you know, you get the idea. And then... Oh! Whoops. Whoops. That's why his damage was low. I didn't give him a card. Look at me. Okay. I should have given him my other copy of Ling's card. Uh, my mistake. Okay, well, Swallow would have done a lot better damage if I given him a card. Well, I guess there you go. We didn't really need it. In any case, um, there was his build. No card, apparently. Uh, maxed Reaper and maxed... I was wondering why his damage was a little bit low. That was why. My mistake. Anyway, there's the Emperor EX fight. And then, um, either tonight or tomorrow, I'll be going back to Clash of Will... Not Clash of Wills to Vision World for another Hadlar clear. I want to use some of the updated units we got, like, you know, stronger Dragoons, new mages, etc. But that'll be stuff for this weekend. Okay, hope it helps. See you in a bit.